Okay, for this short video, taking you through how to answer the photograph interpretation questions on any Cambridge IGCC geography paper, I'm going to be focusing on the theme, the theme tourism. So what does the syllabus say about interpreting photos? You need to give simple descriptions of human and physical landscapes and ge geographical phenomena from photographs, aerial phot photographs, satellite images and GIS. And so for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be taking you through example questions, how to approach them, potentially common points to consider. So with that, you'll have a range of example exam responses, and I'll be giving you one or two at the ends for you to practice with the mark schemes for you to um, have a go yourself. So all of these questions are described questions. And so the number of marks at the bottom of the right hand side refer to the number of unique observations, features, points that need to be made about that resource. So let's kick off. Most of these questions regarding tourism tend to center around attractions for tourists. Look at the photo, what attractions can you see? And so when we look at a definition, attraction for tourists generally refers to a place, event or object that is popular among tourists and is visited for its unique or significant features. It's the reason why tourists are pulled to go there. So for natural, it's anything created by nature. So for example, the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. For cultural reasons, it's basically anything that showcases the cultural heritage of a place, such as landmarks, festivals and art galleries. So the Colosseum in Rome, for example, and entertainments. You, know, you go there because of its theme park, like Disneyland, sports stadiums and casinos. So when you've got the tourist attraction, which is the pull factor why someone wants to go there, the tourist activity is what someone can do once they are there. So if we take the first one, for example, here you've got some sort of mountain environments. A tourist activity could be camp camping, hiking, or it could be going along a ride on the river. If you go to a sports stadium, for example, yes, it could be to see a sports match, but it might also be to see a concert. So here are some questions. Figures 5.1 and 5.2 are photographs which show two different tourist locations in Thailand. Describe the attractions for tourists shown in those, in those figures. So again, a tourist attraction is a place, event or object that is popular amongst tourists and is visited for its unique or significant features. And so if we look at here, it could be because there are a selection of bars and restaurants with some shops selling souvenirs that appeared and there appear to be some street artists. So here it looks like it's quite an arty area. So that's the reason why people might want to go there. And for figure 5.2, it's slightly easier. There are sandy beaches, a blue calm sea and lots of sunshine. So tend to be the physical ones tend to be more obvious about why people are attracted to go there. And if we were just um, to look at the mark scheme here, you can see ticking all of those boxes nicely. So here you've got three photographs and three responses. You need to describe the advantages of these areas for tourist activities. So what is it about these three areas that make people want to visit them? So if we take the first one, we can see that the mountain offers the opportunities to go hiking and see good views. Photograph C, being close to the sea means people can lie on the beach to sunbathe and swim in the sea. And sitting at the restaurants means people can potentially listen to local music and enjoy traditional food. So I've given a range of options, at least one for every single um, resource and trying to do at least two points for each. So if you look at this, yep, we can talk about the scenery and we can talk about the fact that people can go hiking there and everything else. So again, Read the question, why would people, what, what can people do there? Why is it a good place to visit? And here are some practice questions for you. So if I were you, look at the question on the boards. In the comments, I've put the resource to this, so you can, the stimuli for this, so you can print it off in your own time. Um, so look at the question, pause the video, have a go at doing it, and then you use the mark scheme to check your work. Here's the first question. I've taken this one because it, although the bottom question is more to do with tourism, the top one is more to do with settlements. You can use my other videos if you want to, to check this out. Um, if not, give it a go, see what you think. You describe the buildings, what can you see? Keep it simple. And at the bottom, this one talks purely about the tourism as a destination. So pause the video, give it a go. It's eight marks, it'll take you about 10 minutes to do. Once you've done that, click play and have a look at the mark scheme and check your response. And once you've done that, you can have a look. I've given you my model answer and you can have a look at the mark scheme there.